Hi, my name is Mayra. Welcome to Our in Travel. So Roger is building somebody's little home on wheels. If you want Roger to build yours, you can contact him. I'm going to leave you his information right here. However, in this video, I'm going to share with you basic travel tips for uh, new travelers. If, uh, if you are new in this uh, lifestyle or you are planning your international uh, trips definitely this video is gonna help you uh, Roger and I we actually uh, travel in Southeast Asia for seven months we also have seven months experience traveling in a van uh, in the United States and in Baja California Mexico we actually also flew to Mexico City and uh, we went to the next stay and uh, experience our favorite hot springs in the world uh, also, we travel 15 days in Puerto Rico using couch surfing and we are currently living in South Florida. With that said, if you follow us on Instagram, you already know that I am a cancer survivor. I am a Hodgkin lymphoma cancer survivor. So for this reason, we haven't been able to travel as we used to. I've been busy literally saving my life, suffering with this treatments so now more than ever as a cancer survivor if traveling is one of your wildest dreams do it don't postpone any dream too long because you know what life is short sometimes if we postpone it too long it's too late um, i know it sounds drastic but it's true so that's why I wanted to share basic uh, travel tips for people that have never traveled internationally or you know you are planning your trips and you need to know the basics this video is gonna help you and to be honest even though I have a lot of experience traveling I actually feel like a beginner now I am like okay what do I do how do I do it I need to refresh my memory so I thought that it would be really cool to do it together with those that are on the same boat and yeah let's go let's get started let's learn together let's remember everything about traveling all right so the first thing you need to do if you're planning to travel abroad is to get or renew your passport or your passports I have two citizenships so these are mine and um, so I'm gonna start with the US so for the US passport it's very common to send it via mail on the USPS I'm gonna leave you their website so you can check uh, what documents you need so what I had to do I actually my passport expired you know I couldn't believe that I left my passport expired but that's how focused and busy I've been saving my life so for the US passport uh, you need to send it via uh, mail. You also need to send your uh, passport pictures. I went to Waterings. I didn't like the pictures because at that time I was doing chemotherapy, so I look uh, like drunk. But anyway, <laughs> that's another story. Anyway, so you have to send your your pictures. Uh, so what you do is you go to the website, you download the form, you fill out the form, you send your pictures. In my case, I had to send my expired passport along with my marriage certificate. So I sent it to them. It took about four weeks for me to get to get it back. Um, and I highly recommend you to do it as soon as possible because this is something you're gonna need before leaving the country. If one of your parents uh, happens to be Mexican, you are actually able to get your Mexican passport. I highly recommend it to do it, especially if you're gonna travel long term like Roger and I did. So for the Mexican passport, uh, you go actually to the con Mexican consulate in person. So first, call them. You schedule your you can schedule your appointment on via online, but I would call them to make sure uh, the documents that you need. So that way, when you show up in person, uh, you don't have to go come back twice. Uh, in the Mexican consulate, I was able to take the pictures at the consulate in person, but you have the choice to bring them with you as well. So um, for both passports, I opted for the 10 years. Uh, for this one, I pay $130. For this one, I pay $192 or $91 because I did it on a US consulate. Uh, highly, highly recommend you to get more than one passport if you uh, have the right to do so. Uh, US and Mexico, they uh, let you have up to three citizenships. I would like a third one, and, but that's a different story. 
um, the European one is mm, I'm just thinking in terms of traveling like having the more choices you have the better I also want to share that sometimes when you travel internationally you need a uh, visa so for many countries in Southeast Asia you actually are able to get them uh, upon arrival so you get it at the airport fill out the form you pay about 30 to 35 dollars uh, sometimes you need like a picture passport picture you can take in there or you can bring your own uh, in other countries you need to have a visa prior to arrival I know for US uh, passports if you're planning to go to Vietnam you need to get it uh, you need to get a form prior to arriving and it takes a few days for you to um, to get the approval uh, it, in my case I actually use my Mexican passport because it was faster but if you only have your US passport just keep that in mind so uh, check what countries need visa prior to arrival or in what countries uh, you can just do it once you get there all right, so we have our passports, we have our visa. What about the money? So the number one advice I wanna give you when it comes to the money is to learn to manage your money. If I would have known uh, how to manage my money from years and years ago, things would have been so different now. And I am not just talking about traveling, but with, when it comes to anything in life really, because we need money for everything, right? So uh, learn how to manage your money. Uh, there's a lot of books out there that teach you how to do this. Uh, I read the, uh, it's called Your Money of Your Life by Vicky and Joe Dominguez. I'm still reading, trying to learn about how to handle, how to manage my money. And however, at that time, Roger and I travel, I just took advice from other travelers because I had no idea about finances. So at that time, what we did is we reduced our expenses. So some of the things we did, uh, it was we caught our Netflix and started renting free movies at the library. And we also stopped buying books and stopped renting them at the library. We used to do free things on the weekends. Uh, so that way we could still have fun, but not spend money on the weekends. And we even have like potlucks. So that way we could still hang out with friends, but not spend a lot of money like going out and to bars and things like that. Um, what else? I like makeup from Clinique and it's not the cheapest. So what I started doing, I just started getting the makeup on when they had uh, sales. Uh, I think they have it like twice a year. So that's when I would get my makeup. Anyway, so those are the things we did at the time to really start saving. And uh, we really focus like we really want to travel. So we start instead of just saying it or thinking it, we started doing it. And and that's how we did it at the time. And uh, honestly, before I used to think that, you know, I needed to be rich to travel around the world. Once we started traveling, I noticed that it's actually really affordable. Uh, of course, Roger and I, we are budget travelers. So even when we're traveling, we still try to save. And um, there's different levels when it comes to backpackers or budget travelers. We're like intermediate, like we don't stop eating, you know, just to travel. It's not stream like that for us. Uh, we camp, uh, we like to camp for fun. So it's not really to save. However, it is convenient for us because we like to camp and we save. So that's great. So, and also when we travel in our van, we used to cook a lot, we like to cook. Um, in the United States, some, it's really expensive to eat out all the time. Uh, a few weeks ago, Roger and I went to a, a Thai uh, restaurant, we spent $80 for both. In Thailand, we used to, for the same, same food, same everything, we would pay $7 for both. So it's a big difference, so it makes a difference when you um, start you know making those changes and start saving and believe me I know that when life gets hard you need to just focus on what's priority what's essential believe me you know I needed to do my stem cell transplant my medical insurance was not covering the stem cell transplant cost over one million dollars I opened a GoFundMe page. My sister that lives in Mexico sent me money. Other family members also uh, send me money. Friends and all, uh, people that know me, uh, they uh, help me on the GoFundMe. So 
you know, until something happens uh, to you or, or what happened to me, uh, I just didn't know that. I mean, I knew our healthcare in the United States was not the best in the world, but I didn't know how bad it was. I at one point I was like, wait, is this like uh, 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 what year is this? Is this the sixties? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, so. You know, when life is hard, there's no way that you can focus on like saving for other things. You have to focus on what's essential. The only reason I'm sharing this is because I do want, you know, I'm a human being. So when things are like that, just focus on first take care of what's essential and then everything else is secondary. If you're watching this video in English, I'm assuming that you already speak English and guess what? That's going to be really helpful to you because English is the most common form of communication among travelers or when you travel internationally. But I, I mean, even if you learn, know how to speak other languages like Roger and I do, I still advise you to download the Google uh, Translate offline. It could be really helpful in countries that they don't speak English as much and uh, you don't speak their language. Like for example, in Vietnam, Google Translate offline was really helpful. So I recommend you to download it. All right, next, credit cards. So if you live in the United States, you already know this, that uh, having credit cards in the United States is very common. But guess what? Roger actually didn't have credit cards. He doesn't like to owe money to anybody. So, but now he has, he has credit cards. And uh, one thing I like about credit cards is that they're useful when you are going to need to rent a car in other locations. Um, uh, you might know that in the United States, Puerto Rico, and even when we went to Australia, uh, you need to have a credit card to rent a car and you need to have at least 25 years old. Uh, so it comes in handy when it comes to that and also if you're renting a car many times your credit card actually has insurance for it. Uh, another reason I like credit cards is because if you pay your phone with your credit card, if you're traveling and somebody steals your phone or you lose your phone, it covers it. So those are the reasons I like credit cards. Uh, uh, some people um, also mention about like travel points and things like that. I have two, I have a lot of points, and honestly, that hasn't convinced me yet, so I just wanna explain a little bit more. So I have these two different travel cards with points. So if I wanna purchase a ticket, I have to do it through their website, so I go through their website, and then I check the ticket, and it, it costs twice as much as if I just get it directly with the airline. So that has not worked for us, uh, I don't know if before it used to be helpful or the points used to be helpful or in my case I didn't really it didn't really work and I'm not uh, saving anything with those points but that's just me so however if you have problems with like credit cards if you owe a lot of money again again let's learn to manage our money first you know pay your debt and and then anything else but learn how to manage your money, paying debt, and, and then the next step. So uh, there is a car that, this is not a credit card, but it was really, it has been really helpful uh, to us while we're traveling internationally. And this is, online, this is an online banking, it's called Charles Schwab. And the reason we really like this car is because if, um, refunds you the ATM fees when you are traveling even when we went to Puerto Rico since uh, they have different banks and they charge you know five dollars here five, six dollars there and ten dollars depending on the country so that all accumulates monthly and they uh, refund you every month all those fees so it makes a big difference also you can use it internationally so that's really helpful so that one I do recommend if you're living in the United States you're able to uh, to get it because you have to do all the paperwork online so that one I do recommend it okay and the next tip is to start planning ahead and when uh, what I mean with ahead is months in advance I don't know about you but I wasn't used to do this before I used to do what my family does and what they do is they purchase a ticket the airplane tickets um, one week 
two or three weeks before they go to Mexico. And I used to do that as well, but guess what? When you do that, you actually uh, paying a lot of money on your tickets. You're paying double, triple, quadruple. You spend a lot of money when you do that. So if you learn how to plan ahead, and I'm talking about eight months in advance, you are gonna save a lot of money uh, just by doing that. You're gonna get the same tickets, but because you're doing it with time, you're actually gonna save a lot of money. So, you know, start uh, thinking about the places you wanna go and start looking at the prices of tickets, so that way you can save uh, money. If you're like me uh, and your plan is to go visit and go travel to every country in the world, I know how that feels. But when you are planning, you really have to focus like, okay, what countries are my priority? Uh, which ones do I really want to go to? And what do I need to get there? What do I need to do? Uh, so that's what you need to start doing because I know it gets kind of uh, overwhelming like man I want to go everywhere where can I go so start focusing on the ones that you really want to go to first what, what do you need um, if you're looking to save uh, you might you might want to check what are the cheapest places to travel to so start watching videos like our videos travel guides uh, I that's what I did before I actually uh, we started doing these videos. I used to watch other travelers videos that helped me plan my trips. That's why uh, recently I share uh, before, you know, I always wanted to know like how much did they spend? I want to know the exact amount for each country, uh, but I couldn't find that. So that's why I like to share that information. I recently uploaded that the eight uh, cheapest countries to travel to for the same reason. So yeah, start planning that way so you can uh, kind of manage uh, not just the time but you know to know like about how much money uh, you need of course you know everyone is going to spend a little bit different because of your style Roger and I were uh, budget travelers so that's kind of how we uh, travel and that's how can we spend our money but it, it really helps you plan your trip so start watching our uh, travel guides and the next tip if you're traveling abroad internationally is to get health insurance for your travels. So Roger has a family member that came to the United States to visit. They had an emergency and then they got a bill for $12,000. But because they had uh, trouble health insurance through their credit card, it actually covered the whole bill. So that's what a difference it can make. And I know other countries are not as expensive as the United States, but believe me, it makes a difference. Um, so Roger and I had a, a, a skin infection in Thailand. We went to the doctor, but it was really affordable. We only paid uh, $40, so we actually pay out of pocket. Uh, but for big emergencies and other big things, it does make a difference. And for peace of mind as well, I recommend it. Uh, we actually had uh, two different travel health insurance. One is Safety Win, which is more, uh, it's a little bit more affordable. And we also had World Nomads at one point. Uh, my big recommendation is to read through them, whatever uh, travel insurance you choose, read what it covers because guess what? Sometimes you need it, it doesn't cover what you need and you don't wanna get those kind of surprises. So, so read, just know what they cover so you are better informed. But yes, don't don't travel without health insurance. It's, it's, it's very important. Okay, and next, making time to travel. If you live in the United States like I do, I, I know this from experience. I know here we have a lot of pressure to work, 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 and work. <laughs> And to the point that sometimes we feel guilty to take our vacations because we don't want our employers to think that we are not responsible enough or sometimes, you know, we have a lot of work, we don't want to stay behind. Uh, believe me, I understand that because I used to be the same. Uh, I'm not, you know, I know a lot of people go and, and go travel the world because they hate their job, but that was not my case. I actually really like my job. So sometimes it's even hard, you know, to leave your job when you like it too. But my advice is not, you know, do what we did, leave everything and just go and travel the world. My advice is to 
make time to travel, make time to take your vacations because there's a studies that show that when you take your vacation, you replenish your energies, you actually become more creative. So you're not gonna fall behind in everything that you have to do and you're not less responsible uh, for taking your vacation. So like I said, you know, life is too short go replenish your energy go have quality time with your loved ones family friends or whoever uh but yeah you know you need to i know sometimes it's hard uh to really you know think and take this time but i highly recommend you to take your vacations that's why i'm giving you all these tips so you start planning your trips don't let too much time pass because life is short and your most valuable asset is time. Our time is the most valuable asset that we have. Don't ever forget that. Believe me, now I already knew that. Now even more, our time is precious and we can never buy it back. So take your vacations let's get ready let's plan <laughs> all right and that's it for now you know just by making this video i actually feel really excited and motivated because like i said i also feel like a beginner even though i have all this experience but now you know i have to rethink everything i knew so uh yeah so even i even though i'm making this video for others it's actually helping me as well uh to just refresh everything about traveling getting prepared i already renew my passports so i'm gonna go to the next step if you have any questions please let me know in the comments you're gonna help me because guess what i'm also trying to figure out how to make money on this youtube when i do i'll share it but in the meantime help me get some uh, comments in there but really if you have questions let me know because that's how I used to help myself. I used to read all other people's comments and sometimes I know we are shy to comment in there, but uh, we're here to help each other. So I'll see you in the next video and take care. Let's get ready to travel.